to change their reputation from being bad, Mr. Wolf, Mr. Piranha, Mr. Snake, and Mr. Shark are teaming up to do good. Their attempts to perform good deeds are chronicled in the graphic novel series The Bad Guys by Aaron Blaby. And on Friday, the series makes its big screen debut. Author Aaron Blaby joins us now to talk more about these wannabe heroes. Good morning, Aaron. Thank you so much for being with us. Oh, my pleasure. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Um, gosh, congratulations on the big project. Congratulations on all of your success. How amazing is this? Uh, it, it's, it's just the most wonderful thing to be in the middle of. It's, it's very surreal. I feel like I'm living in a dream. I really do. And it sounds, it sounds very glib when you say that, but it, I really am. And I, I'm, I've been obsessed with movies more than is probably healthy my whole life. Um, they're the sort of center of my universe, really. So to have my work turned into a big one that is also, as far as I'm concerned, a really cool one, is amazing because I, I I'm not a very good liar. If I didn't love the movie, I <laughs> I, I wouldn't be doing media. I'd be hiding off somewhere. So it, it is such a thrill to be able to sit here and tell you about how much I do love this film. They, the DreamWorks have hit it out of the park. Um, yeah, you know, yeah, the bad guys. Your book. It was released back in 2015. So it's it's it it lives, you know, in its own. Um, in its own entity, on on paper, on bookshelves, or in your Kindle, where, wherever it is, in school libraries, uh, or in a child's library. But then DreamWorks comes calling a few years later, about 2018, saying that they want to do a movie. It's a dream come true for you. It is, and look, it was it was a situation where the books they took off in the American schools like ridiculously. So they went for I'd never sold more than five thousand copies of anything, and then the bad guys suddenly sold like half a million copies in a couple of weeks, and it was a thing. And uh, all the studios kind of got interested, and I went around in a very surreal week at the end of 2016, and I met all the studios, and a number of them were after it, uh, but I just consistently gravitated to DreamWorks because they got it. They, they, the only one I trusted that had, they got the tone. They knew what I had made, they loved what I had made, and they wanted to take that and blow that out into something bigger. And they, they were a no-brainer, really. So where did you get the idea for the bad guys? I mean, uh, in the book, we do add one character uh, that Aquafina uh, plays, which is Miss Tarantula. Where did this come from? Uh, look, the, the, the idea for the books was a couple of things. I wanted to write something about prejudice and about characters being judged um, by the way they look. But I, 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 the trigger was my, I've got two kids. When my youngest was six years old, he was bringing home books from school that he found so boring that they would make him cry. And I wanted to do something to fix that. And I, at the time, he was into scary animals as kids often are, and I thought, you know what, well, well, what if it was scary animals that were being judged, and those two things kind of clicked together, and then I was thinking about all the movies that I love, and even ones that aren't for kids, like Tarantino's movies, and suddenly all that iconography kind of wrapped around this idea I had, and the bad guys were born. The book is The Bad Guys by our guest Aaron Blaby, and the movie is out this Friday. There is also a uh, novelization of the movie on print, so our, our viewers can pick that up if they want to as well. Congratulations on everything. This is, this is just amazing. Thank you for being with us, Aaron. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for having me.